hey guys this is the last video for the hard drain campaign on uh, export mode you can see here expert is uh, grayed out which means this is the currently selected difficulty I've already repeated this level this is my second try I tried the first time and I failed uh, because of the uh, tank and also guys I'm going to insert another video into this one from another gameplay that I played the same level but I'm going to use the glitch just in case if you guys are not able to uh, finish this level you know the normal way uh, like for example you're not able to fight the tanks by yourself in this uh, level uh, just like what happened with me I could not resist the tank when he came in uh, me and the bots so right now this is my uh, second try and of course I will pass this time but it was still it was very difficult as you will uh, see next uh, now regarding the glitch when you use that glitch uh, first of all you will not have any horde no zombies and no horde but you will still have some special infected that will come for you maybe two or three special infected maybe maximum four you will not get more than uh, four special infected in the entire level uh, as for the tanks the problem is that sometimes the tank will appear to you but so and sometimes it, w uh, it will die by itself without uh, even uh, coming close to you uh, now most of the time you will not worry about the tank because he's going to be stuck when he come if he come for you and he did not die he will he will sit outside and he will not be able to get in and then he will remain like this for about uh, seven or maybe ten seconds and then he will die by himself uh, but sometimes it happens sometimes the tank uh, do not get stuck but this is r rarely when it happens and then he will come and he will uh, throw rocks at you but th this happens uh, very few times it doesn't happen that much uh, the best way to defend yourself is to stay on the roof and the reason is because the zombies will take a lot of time until they jump up on the roof and then they will try to get you you know when they jump up you can easily keep shooting at them before they uh, come up and uh, reach you do, do not come up here in, in this area because when you come up here the bots will get confused a lot of time they get confused and sometimes they even jump down they don't stay with you on, uh, on the top I'm just coming here because I want to show you what I'm talking about here we have a boomer coming in I know he's coming up from the side so I'm waiting for him and then I'm going to shoot him you know that's one of the benefits of using uh, nice headphones instead of using the cheap ones that doesn't let you know what's uh, going on around you you can see here guys the zombies are taking their time to come up that's why it's easy to um, to shoot them you can see also coach he jumped down that's why it's not a good idea to stay here on the top guys make sure you uh, stay on the roof but don't go on that area that I was uh, sitting on uh, because the bus again they might get confused just like what happened to coach and then you know they will uh, go down you see also Nick he also jumped down so make sure you come here on the roof on this area where I'm standing on Okay guys here I want you to take a look at this mistake here we have a tank coming in and he was about to throw rocks uh, what I should have done here is that I should have gone back behind one of the bots so that when the tank throw a rock it will hit the bot instead of hitting me uh, then after the tank become happy and excited and you know keep hitting his hand on the floor you know because he got the shot uh, I can use that time to run away from him to the back so that he will follow me to the back and of course I will still I will still be on top of the roof but I will be doing this so that I can give a chance for one of the bots to pick up the, the bot who uh, went down uh, I was lucky in this level because the tank fall down after uh, after I went down you see here he fall down again sometimes it happens you know with the uh, bot tanks uh, now if the tank did not fall down I would repeat it that level again because he will actually hit the bots one after another before they even uh, pick me up uh, so remember next time if a tank is targeting you make sure you run behind one of the bots so that the tank will get him instead of you uh, so actually I was lucky here because you know so try not to make the tank get you from the first time uh, from, because you know if if he did not fall down all of us would uh, like the game would end it at that uh, moment because he will just get all the other three so easily 
Okay, so now I'm going to defend here again, the same spot. Um, just make sure, you know, anything, keep looking around you everywhere because, you know, they will be coming from everywhere. But again, the good thing when you stay on the roof, they take their time to come up and this will give you a lot of time to uh, shoot at them. Uh, but if you stay on the bottom, they will be jumping on the top of you from the roof and then they will also be coming from all sides and which means you can easily get surrounded and also when the tank comes in you will have to get out get out from the bottom you need to come up here and this will waste a lot of uh, time and here I, I forgot I, while I was playing the game I forgot I thought I did not show you the difficulty I already showed you the difficulty in the beginning of the level but uh, I made it again because I forgot uh, now back again if you try to defend from the bottom of course you have to come up when the tank comes in you do not want to fight the tank and you're sitting in the bottom and, do, and when you try to come up uh, it will take a lot of time because you and the bots must, co must come up for the tank so you do not want this to happen because he might uh, respond very close to you and you will not have a lot of time to uh, get up now here we have the second tank you can see everybody was shooting at him and this is a good uh, thing because it will make him die faster so now here i'm trying to pull them fast away from him before he throw the rock uh, you can see he was targeting me with the rock he, he, he knew exactly where i was uh, walking but i actually i stopped uh, i did not continue walking to that direction that's why the rock uh, did not reach me Otherwise, if I, if I just continue to run to the direction where I was running and there was nothing here to prevent the rock from reaching me, uh, that rock would uh, hit me. And here we have the tank is dead, but I have no idea why the bots are uh, down. I'm not sure why did they went uh, to the bottom. And now we have the third tank. Now for the third tank, I'm going to throw a bile right on him. This way so that the zombies will all go running after him and they will uh, keep punch him, you know and uh, stand in his way this will make him uh, stop where he is like if you throw a bile on a tank you will see all the zombies attacking him from all directions and then he will not be able to move and this will give me a lot of uh, time to go to the ship uh, this time nothing comes in i didn't see any horde and they should have actually attacked the tank but it's weird but it's okay it doesn't matter since the tank respawn uh, too far away from us Okay guys, now the next video I'm going to show you right now here, um, this is for the glitch. Uh, now when you come here you should always uh, clear the back area, you can see here this area in the back. Make sure it's cleared because you will be by yourself at the end and you want to make sure that uh, nothing will bother you when you run to the uh, ship. And you can see here all of us have uh, full health, that's because I only played the last level. I only started the last level, I didn't play the entire campaign for this one. Uh, the glitch, uh, in order for it to work, all of you must stand on one of the tables. Uh, this is not possible with the three bots. That's why I'm going to kill all of them so that only me will uh, stand on it. Also, don't forget to get a bile for the very end. Um, I want you to do exactly as what, I, as what you see here. First, shoot them but do not kill them. Because if you kill them before you start the event, they're gonna respawn right here. You can see here the green bathroom. They will respawn ins inside it as soon as you kill them. So what you want to do is that you want to kill them after you start the event but also at the same time you want them to be with low health before you start the event because after you start the event you do not have no much time you want to kill them so fast after you start and then run right away to the table because if you do not run right away to the table you're gonna have zombies will keep respawning as well as special infected and you are sitting by yourself. Um, so here after I made them lost a lot of health, I started the event and then I killed them right away. You see how fast it was? Because they all had very low health, I killed them. Y you saw right now I jumped on top of the, from the table on the floor so that I can show you what will happen if you do not stand on the table. Now I'm going to jump on it again. You can see here a lot of zombies are coming in but you can see also they're not doing anything. They are confused. You see how they're confused? They are s standing in front of me and confused. But... If one of them get too close to you, he will start attacking you, just like the zombie here in the, in the back. You can see here one of them, she is hitting me and, I'm, and I just keep hitting her but it's not working. She is being, uh, she is glitched. You can see the glitch, I just kept hitting it but uh, it's, not, uh, it's not working so I had to get rid of that zombie. 
Now here you notice that all of them they were confused they didn't do anything to me except the ones that were very close to me These are the only ones that kept uh, punching me So that's why I'm telling you it's always good idea to kill the bots as fast as possible and then you jump down And that's why you have to um, make sure first that you take as much health as possible from them before you start the event uh, Then after you start the event um, you will be able to kill all of them easily and then reach the table very fast if you do not kill them and you come to the table it's not going to work because not all of you are, si are sitting on the table you see that's why I killed them so make sure they're all dead before you come to the table otherwise this glitch is not going to work uh, now here we have the first tank is uh, already he's dead and I have a boomer and I have a jockey behind me I can hear them, both of them are right behind me, they're not doing anything, and they will not do anything. Uh, just like that, but they will not also die by themselves, it's not like the tank. The tank came in, he was far away from me, I heard his voice, I heard the screams, and I also heard the, the footsteps. Uh, but at the same time, uh, he died by himself. This is not the same story with the special infected. They will come for you, and then they will keep waiting for you until you leave the table. And once you leave the table, they will start uh, attacking you. And also guys be very careful of uh, smokers because a lot of time they do respawn and most of the time most of the time they will attacking you from the top right here so make sure if a smoker respawn uh, just be prepared for him because he might pull you from the top uh, the smokers are the only special infected the smokers uh, the spitters and the chargers these are the only ones if they come they're not going to uh, wait for you they will actually come and attack you Sp so make sure you get ready for them if you hear any of them coming in now already the second tank is dead and I can hear the ship coming but I'm not going to go for it I have to wait a little bit uh, because remember you do not you cannot just come in and uh, enter the ship right away you have to wait until uh, it come for you so here I throw the bile and I took my shot so that I can run fast on the water and I also throw the bile so that any zombie that will come in he will run after the uh, bile and now everything's over can see here how fast it was and how easy it was as well and that's it guys for this video and for this walkthrough and I hope that you enjoyed it and also guys I want to remind you that the end of this end that you see here is not for the uh, the last uh, level that I played it's not for the last uh, video that I played you know where I used the glitch uh, this ending is for the entire uh, gameplay the entire campaign uh, just so that you do not get confused by the status that you see here on the screen and also guys remember the glitch is not very easy by the way it's not easy as, as what you saw here because a lot of time you're going to have uh, smokers respawn and it will become so annoying because they can pull you easily and also a lot of time you might have a jockey respawn very close to the ship and you know he's sitting there and waiting and then after you leave the, the, the table to go to the ship he will uh, start attacking you so uh, it's not so easy as what you think so be prepared for this uh, special infected and that's it for this video guys and please don't forget to give it a good rating if you think this video will help you to finish the, this level on expert mode and also don't forget to visit my channel you can, all, you can see here the link on the screen